in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all brothers and sisters in jesus christ our lord called us to the state of holiness due to our weaknesses due to our failures in our day to day life we fall out from that state of holiness so today it is the time for us given by our lord through this merits of holy mass again we reach to that state of holiness before we partake in this holy mass asking the intercessory support of saint joseph let us offer ourselves once again and commit once again ourselves to the hands of the lord asking his mercy and forgiveness to be a worthy celebrant in this holy eucharistic celebration let us pause for a while closing our eyes asking forgiveness and mercy for our unworthiness i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen. lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy oh let us pray o oh god who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose saint joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son grant we pray that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen page number 315 from the old testament a reading from the book of first kings chapter 10 verses 1 to 10 chapter 10 verses 1 to 10 visit of the queen of sheba when the queen of sheba heard of the fame of solomon she came to test him with hard questions she came to jerusalem with a very great retinue with camels bearing spices and very much gold and precious stones and when she came to solomon she told him all that was on her mind solomon answered all her questions there was nothing hidden there from the king that he could not explain to her when the queen of sheba had observed all the wisdom of solomon the house that he had built the food of his table the seating of his officials and the attendance of his servants their clothing his valets and his burnt offerings that he offered at the house of the lord there was no more spirit in her so she said to the king the report was true that i heard in my own land of your accomplishments of your, and of your wisdom but i did not believe the reports until i came and my own eyes had seen it not even half had been told to me your wisdom and prosperity far surpass the report that i had heard happy are your wives happy are these your servants who continually attend you and hear your wisdom blessed be the lord your god who has delighted in you and set you on the throne of israel because the lord loved israel forever He has made you king to execute justice and righteousness. Then she gave the king 120 talents of gold, a great quantity of spices and precious stones, 
Never again did spices come in such quantity as that which the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. This is the word of the Lord. For the Psalms, kindly take Psalm 37. Page number 595, Psalm 37. Verses 5 and 6, verses 30 and 31, and verses 39 to 40. Our response is, the just man's mouth utters wisdom. Psalm 37, verses 5 and 6. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light, and the justice of your cause like the noonday. Verses 30 and 31. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak justice. The law of their God is in their hearts, their steps do not slip. Verses 39 and 40. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their refuge in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Our response is, the just man's mouth utters wisdom. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed these things to your children. Alleluia. Page number 42 of New Testament, chapter 7, verses 14 to 23. Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 14 to 23. Then Jesus called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile since it enters not the heart but the stomach and goes out into the sewer. Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and they defile a person. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. (coughs) 
dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ today the readings gives us a beautiful answer for a question where does evil come from Jesus deals with this issue in response to the religious leaders concern with ritual defilement making oneself unfit to offer acceptable worship and sacrifice to God the religious leaders were more concerned with avoiding ritual defilement maybe some of them out of reverent fear of God and some they wanted to be seen as observant Jews but whatever may be the case Jesus points his listeners and followers to the source of true defilement evil desires which come from inside a person's innermost being here sin does not just happen from external forces it first springs from the innermost recesses of our thoughts and intentions from the secret desires which only the individual mind and heart can conceive in the book of genesis chapter 4 verse 7 where we see when cain became jealous of his brother abel god warned him to guard his own heart where god says if you do very bad then sin is provoking your heart try to master it cain unfortunately did not take god's warning to heart he allowed his jealousy to grow into hatred for his brother and he began to look for an opportunity to eliminate his brother when the jealousy and other sinful desires comes knocking at the door of our heart how do we respond do we entertain them and allow them to overtake us solomon great person asked the lord for a wise and understanding heart as we hear in the first book of king chapter 3 verse 9 the lord answered his prayer and made him the wisest person in history as we heard in the first reading yet through his sins through his civil wars solomon turned his heart away from the lord through the civil war wherever he goes for a war he used to take unreligious girls as his wives where solomon committed a great sin by adoring other gods of other people solomon died at last of a spiritual heart attack but we the christians are greater than that solomon because it is written in the gospel of saint matthew chapter 11 verse 11 where jesus himself says any person born of woman is not greater than john the baptist still if anyone chooses to be small in the sight of god is greater than john the baptist through baptism we have received not only a wise heart but a new heart promised by the lord in the book of ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 where god says i will give you a new heart and i will put a new spirit in you i will take away the heart of stone from your life dear brothers and sisters today are we really able to guard this new heart and new spirit which is given to us at the time of baptism or not it is true that we fall into sin we commit 
so many things against the law of the lord still are we able to realize that moment are we trying to get up from that fallenness or not this has to be thought of and let us ask the god to send us his spirit and to anoint us with his spirit where we can understand distinction between good works and bad works which god speaks to us today works of spirit works of flesh only the things comes out from within defiles a person not the things go sin will not defile so keep this in our mind and heart let us ask the god's grace today by asking the intercessory support of saint joseph may the intercessory support of saint joseph help us to become wise persons spiritual persons and just persons in the presence of the lord in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen as we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise o holy father we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of saint joseph whom you have called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten son who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. the lord be with you Amen. lift up your hearts Amen. let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and in honoring saint joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you for this just man was given by you as spouse to the virgin mother of god and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the holy spirit our lord jesus christ through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these skips we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciple saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope tumabala our bishop and all the clergy remember your servants francis george francina sebastian Antonetta Gloria de Souza whom you have called from this world to yourself grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died from our own families and from our parish in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints with saint joseph and with saint anthony of padua who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen Let us remember and pray for all those who are celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversaries and let us ask our God to bless them abundantly with his choicest blessings to guard them to protect them from all the evil dangers and also let us remember and pray for the intentions of this holy mass may good lord fulfill the intention that we have in our hearts let us say the prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May the mingling of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it left to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Today, who speaks to distinct between the works of spirit and the works of the flesh. Blessed are we who are called to partake in this banquet May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus and keep us safe. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of Saint Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served you as a man just and obedient 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the mighty blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>